Hi everybody, welcome back to another Sean's World video. I've uh, been out this morning just to get a few groceries <laughs> and I've ended up buying lots of plants. So before they wilt and die, I've got to get those planted up. I've got some vegetables and that. I've got a plant in the greenhouse before it gets too hot. But before I do that, I'd like to say a big thank you to Peter and his wife for buying me a hat and a rather smart t-shirt and also a little something to go with it. I'll she'll be enjoying that later on. Thank you very much Peter, it was great to catch up with you. Um, while I'm at it, thank you to all the new Patreons, all the buy me a coffees, everyone that watches this channel and comments. Thank you very much, it is much appreciated. Right, now let's get these plants out of the car. So what did I get? Let's have a look. I like these, begonias, yep. They were 2 90 for a tray. Uh, marigolds, petunias, I guess. Yeah. I'm cheating, I looked at the label. I'm not sure what these ones are. Right, let's get these out. Oh, when you see them for this cheap, you just gotta get them. I'm afraid I do it all the time. I buy the plants and I think, right, where am I gonna put them? <laughs> Don't matter. I've got plenty of room to put stuff about. As long as they don't die. But it is hot. I think I'll give these a good soak. Ah, uh, yeah, why did I put those vegetables in the barn? Right, let's go and get those out as well before I forget about them. Which door are they in? This one, I think. There we go. Oh yeah, they're doing okay. Nice and cool in here. Right, let's get these soaked before I plant them. Now some of these are destined for the greenhouse. Not that one, that's got to go outside. Celeriac, celery, that's okay in the greenhouse. Golden Spartan, okay. Salads, that can be dotted about. So many slugs at the moment. Anyone got any tips and advice apart from the usual beer traps, which do work? Always catch me. And uh, maybe some copper. I'll try copper. Okay, that's enough talking. Let's get these soaking in the water. Whilst they have a good soak and drink, I'm going to pop inside. I'm going to have myself a drink and I'll see you back in a second. So while the plants are soaking in the water, I need to uh, find somewhere to plant some of these, uh, some of these herbs. So I had a little walk around and I think I found a place. I was going to use it indoors, but I've had a closer look at it and it's just not up to scratch. So let me show you what I mean. Now it's this thing here. It's got a big, big crack out of it here. Um, I thought that would make a lovely herb planter. Maybe sit it on something, either some wood or some stone, put some gravel in it, put some pots here. I think that would be rather, rather suitable. I think you'll agree. The trap still works, so it will drain away. I'll get a nice layer of gravel in the bottom. Yeah, hmm. Now, where to put it? Plenty of space, let's go and find somewhere. But before I just go and find some random place, um, I've got to think what I'm going to put in there. So, herbs, got to be close to the kitchen or close to the barbecue, uh, close to somewhere where we're sitting so we get the benefits from the smell. Okay, yep. I think I've got just the place. So after lots of deliberation and searching everywhere, I've come from there to there. <laughs> I've had 10 or 12 foot, which is handy, you know, I haven't got to move it too far. So we're going from there. Now what I thought is this area here. It's right next to where we sit. Kitchen's just next door there. 
Um, it's a bit of a, a natural area if you like, uh, unkept at the moment. So I could clear this area here, make a nice feature of it. And we get the, the pleasure of sitting down and looking at it as well. That way I can keep an eye on it and make sure it's watered. So, And I'm in the shade, which is a bonus because it's boiling. Right, let's do a little bit of clearing. We get this set up. So I've now got a good basis for that to sit on. So I'm gonna look for something to prop it up off the floor, maybe some blocks, some timber. But yeah, I think it's gonna look really nice there. Right, it's getting hot, even though I'm in the shade, but it's still pleasant. So yeah, managed to save lots of little bits and pieces in there. I think I planted this up, or maybe eight or nine years ago. Nature eventually takes its, uh, its turn and overgrows everything, but I'm not too worried about it. I mean, we've got ivy. I think that's part of its charm. I like to plant something up with all the things I want in it. And then we just let nature creep in and uh, it looks so much more natural that way. So now, do I position the sink that side or this side? I think this side. I think I'll come off the edge here and then we'll come back this way and then that way I can return back that way with something else. But uh, let's get it over in place, temporary for the moment, just to see what sort of size, size plant we got here. Now I've been deliberating whether to go with rocks or uh, logs. Maybe prop it up with some logs I think. Um, yeah, I think that might be quite effective. I've got plenty of logs lying about. Not that many stone blocks actually, so I think I'll save them for the wall rebuild and uh, yeah, I'll just use the logs. So I happen to know where there's a big pile and I'm gonna go and grab some. So there are plenty to choose from. Now this is the wood believe it or not, that was cut down from the top of this tree. I mean, it was a real giant. It's a pear tree, and I'm told it could be between two and three hundred years old. Don't know whether it'll have pears this year, definitely next year, so I didn't kill it. So, we've got lots of lovely logs to pick from. Look at that one. Uh, right, let's come back for the rest. There, I did say it would be rustic. That's the basic idea anyway. Get some uh, different logs here maybe. And while I was looking at it, I thought, hmm, maybe I could make something for the hedgehog underneath there. Maybe a little shelter for him. Or anything else that wants to habitate in there. We need all the help we can with the slugs around here. So yeah, that's the basic idea anyway. Right, I'm gonna put these logs down on top of a bit of gravel. I'm going to arrange them, then go and get my plants over, see what it looks like. Oops. 
So the plan is entrance for the hedgehog there. I'm going to put something over the top of there, maybe something inside as well. Um, I think with a hedgehog house or home, you have to sort of put in areas where he can come back on himself. So prying little paws can't get in there. That's what I'll do anyway. And uh, yeah, I'll get some more logs, fill the sink up with some gravel, cover the sink hole, and then I'll get the plants over. I made a good entrance. I think I'll cover this up. Put some logs. Yeah. What a des res. Yep, pleased with that. Right. Some for the back. It's no good having a good entrance if they can stick their paw in behind. Right, let's block that off. Maybe that in there, a bit of bedding. So I'm not making a house for lots of mice. That way I can lift up and have a look in there, see if there's been any activity. So it's taking shape now. Now I've got this, I just found. Um, it's a shell, big shell plastic, obviously. I think if I position that low enough so it can access in and out, birds can use it as well. Obviously I'll give it a clean up. That might work. Falls in that and climb out. Yeah, pleased with that. Fine. So I've just drilled some holes in here. This is where our herbs are going to go. Now I'm going to sit them on the draining side because the actual sink side, the trap isn't draining quick enough. So for now, I'm not confident that the water will run away. So I'm going to put the herbs in it in here. I'll show you what I mean. Here we go like that, then the herbs are going to go in there. I may have to drill some more holes into this. Um, Maybe just put some plants in there or some pots sitting on some stone there. It does drain, it's just very slow. Now hopefully we'll get to eat these before the slugs do. That's why I built the hedgehog house below. <laughs> he gets to eat, we get to eat. Right. Um, hmm. What am I going to do with that sink? Very slow to drain. From this, 